guys, this is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So let's start off with Doja Cat because um, a lot of fans on social media are speculating that she might have a collaboration with Camila Cabello. Okay, remember her from Fifth Harmony? There was a leaked confirmation release of, you know, Doja Cat allegedly being on a song with her. And this form is allegedly from Sony, okay? Now, usually these type of sheets don't get leaked. So I find it very interesting um, that somebody was able to get a hold of this form. But if Doja Cat does have a collaboration with Camilla, that is definitely an L. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, Camilla had to go to rehab because she was saying the N-word too much or some sort of institution. And I'm just thinking about how sick that is. I mean, she really had to go to some sort of school or institution. So this would not be a good look for Doja Cat. I mean, Camilla is really not even that relevant, okay? Her career is on Flopiana. <laughs> Imagine doing a record with Camilla and not Normani. Like, that is just not sitting well with me at all. And I will not support the record. So hopefully a fan made this up. Um, you know, I've been trying to give Doja Cat the benefit of the doubt. First, it was these weird-ass chats that she was in in 2020. Then she started doing music with French Montana who has, you know, some allegations against him. Then there's some speculation that she will be collaborating with Chris Brown and now Camilla. That's definitely an L, okay? And somebody over at Doja Cat's team is setting her up with these flop-ass collaborations, okay? You could be collaborating with way better people than Chris Cosby, the BBL King French, and the racist Camilla. So hopefully, you know, these collaborations stay in the stash and never come out the vault. She's not missed and she knows that Doja Cat is popping and that's why she wants to collaborate with her. And I heard that allegedly she was trying to get a collaboration with Lil Nas X too. Okay, trying to appeal to the black and gay community. But she needs to stay her ass over there. Um, Shawn Mendes dumped you and the black community do not f with you okay camilla so you need to let it go moving on to the queen of rap Nicki minaj now i see a lot of tweets um a lot of people are still upset about the normani situation but now people are trying to push this narrative that if you collaborate with cardi b that Nicki minaj will not f with you okay which i don't really believe that is true because you know your boy Drizzy Drake got a record with Cardi B in the stash. Okay, it hasn't come out yet. And with that being said, I'm pretty sure Nicki Minaj knows about this record. But yet, she always shows Drake love. He gets away with everything. Okay, he can go on stage in 2018 and say Cardi B is the hardest working female rapper alive. Do y'all remember that? Yet, she gives him all the benefit of the doubt, okay? So I don't really believe that. Also, she's still cool with Winnie. Winnie went to Cardi B's birthday party. Um, she's still cool with Spice. Spice was also hanging out with Cardi B and she performed at Cardi B's birthday party. The problem is Megan started acting funny towards Nicki after the collaboration. And allegedly, Normani started acting funny too. How is that Nicki Minaj's problem? Okay, if you act funny with her, she going to act funny with you. And then on top of that, I'm thinking, well, I wouldn't F with a bitch that was kicking with my ops anyway. I'm thinking about that. Like, if you cool with an op, I don't really want to be around you either. I mean, people forget that Cardi B threw a shoe at Nicki Minaj for a fake tweet. Like a lot of people be forgetting that. It's so funny how now everybody got amnesia, okay? She ran up on Nicki Minaj, end up with a knot on her head over a fake tweet. So 
I don't know if I really would fuck with somebody like that. Okay. Um, so I can understand both sides, but I don't really think Nicki Minaj is that petty. And even if she was, who cares? The girl ran up on her. Okay. I wouldn't be cool with nobody that ran up on me for a fake tweet. I don't be cool with anybody that is cool with the ops. We can say hi and bye. You can kiki, you know, like kiki, but you'll never be my friend. And I will never tell you any type of information. Okay. It's just going to be, you know, a kiki and we going to keep it kind of like an acquaintance or, you know, a surface level type of relationship. It will never be me and you hanging out. I'm not telling you any inside information that is not already public. I'm not giving you nothing. Okay. So I can understand why Nicki Minaj would distance herself from people who are cool with the ops, especially if they move funny. Speaking of the ops, moving on to Megan Thee Stallion, um, Lotto did an interview and she basically stuck up for Megan Thee Stallion saying that she feels like people do not respect Megan's pen or they're playing with her pen game. Now, I have to disagree with Lotto. Um, Megan's pen game has fell off. It's not the same. We're not getting cash shit, Megan Thee Stallion. We're not getting Tina Snow, Megan Thee Stallion. We're not even getting Savage, Megan Thee Stallion. I don't know who this new Megan Thee Stallion is, but ever since she got them three Grammys, Megan's music has changed. It has. I mean, it's like the bars are just not hitting like they used to. Now, I do feel like a lot of people don't really F with Megan like that because of the Tory Lane situation. That has also hurt her career. But I feel like her pen game has changed. It's not the same. And plus, she got Party, you know, allegedly um, working with her. He has credits on Bad News. Go look it up. Okay? Um, with that being said, when Megan Thee Stallion first got into the game, she did not have party. Now, there was a lot of rumors that her mom was helping her with lyrics, but listen, that worked. If her mom was helping her with lyrics, that worked. Um, her being in a studio at party, I don't think it really helps her. She needs a different writer. She needs somebody else to help her in the studio. And she also needs to get new producers. Juju on the beat, gots to go. I'm tired of hearing Juju on a beat, okay? Now, if she just make those small changes, we will see a different Megan Thee Stallion. Old Megan might come back, okay? Because Megan is talented, but it's just something is missing and she's not really connecting with the fans like she used to. She needs to go back to Tina Snow, old Megan Thee Stallion. Okay, and then maybe she will receive a little bit more support. I don't think she'll receive a lot of support because of this Tory Lanez case. And plus, most of her fan base was the Barb's and she don't follow Nicki Minaj. But, you know, there'll be somebody supporting her, you know, people in Houston and um, Barty Gang or Garbage Gang, whatever you want to call them. So let me know how you guys feel about that. Like, comment and subscribe to the channel and have an amazing day.